Hi, it's Apple1975, and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One. And today I've got a fun fight for you. This is a duel I had with Vaz, who is a solo PvP guy. He's not in any player groups. He hangs around at Shinny and loves to fight. Everyone on the Xbox community knows Vaz. Vaz is a cool dude. Now, Vaz isn't a ganker or a griefer. Vaz wants a challenge. Vaz is a duelist who fights PvP battles against some of the best commanders in the game. If you want to come and test your skills, come down to Shinny and challenge Vaz to a 1v1. He is an awesome combat pilot, um, a genuinely really nice guy who's just fun to play against. Um, always very honourable, always very, very polite in combat. Um, Vaz took a stack of cash up to Shinny and learnt how to PvP from dying a lot. And he got a lot of respect from a massive amount of commanders over the fact that he takes his rebuys really well. He's never salty, he's never rude. And I think everyone is aware that the Vaz in no way, shape or form is a in-game criminal or bad guy. He's not a ganker or a griefer, a salty guy. He's not a keyboard warrior. He's not a pirate. By any yardstick or measure, Vaz is not a criminal type or a bad guy. And I think we can all agree on that. Or like 95, 99% of the people I've spoken to in this game can agree on that. I've had Ragnar Scott in my comments telling me that he thinks that Vaz is a cool guy. He does fight against IED, but he's a cool guy and they're aware he's not a criminal type. In fact, recently it was really nice to see that Just Pete reached out to Vaz and had a conversation with him. I think Just Pete twisted things a tiny wee bit, but I'm not going to hold that against him. He defends IED to the core. Um, and I actually am really thankful that Just Pete would take the time to reach out to Vaz. It's a sweet gesture. Now, some IED members have kind of misinterpreted what I was saying, it's claiming that you know it's okay to call Vaz a bad guy because he wants to be on their kill on site, or you know he he doesn't want to be removed from their kill on site. Their kill on site has nothing to do with labelling him a criminal. Um, I only said I was unhappy with the representation of him as a criminal. Uh, he wants to be on IED's kill on site because it makes it easier for him to get pews, and everyone knows Vaz loves to fight. Uh, so Vaz is always down to fight. Uh, does that mean he's a criminal? No. Now, I have said many times there was only two reasons I joined the war for 7th against IED. One was I was asked for an apology for Vaz for the fact he was mislabeled as a criminal in a Paul at War video. I even said that it was probably down to an editing error. Just, I mean, I make videos and I've made tons of mistakes over the you know thousands of videos I've made where I've you know, put a tile in and then realized what I'm saying, you know, and I, I clarify things in the comment section. Recently I did a video about um, someone combat logging and I realized I said the word combat logging while I was showing an honorable dude. So I put in the description just to clarify that guy took his rebuys and it was the two guys in the later clips I was referring to as the combat loggers. You know, I make videos all the time. I understand editing errors can happen, but as you can see, Mr. Wall's video goes straight from Here Comes the Criminals to IED Attacking Vaz. To me, it was a very simple thing. It was a minor editing error. Now, after a long conversation with many members of IED, there's like a 45 comment thread on there. You can read it all on Paul <coughs> Wall's video, which I'll link in the description down below. But here's one of the bits of that conversation. I'll also put this at the end of the video so you can fully read it, but uh, you probably have to pause it to read it in full because I'm not going to put a tile up that long. I mean, the general gist of Mr. War's reply was that, you know, you make your own, you blaze your own trail and if Vaz shoots them then he's, you know, choosing to be a criminal. I also gave him a very easy option, which was do a video where you have a 1v1 with Vaz and just talk about it and say, he's, you know, he fights against us, you know, so therefore he's KOS, but he's not a bad guy. That would have been really easy. Especially as these uh, Paul at Wars had two recent 1v1s with Vaz. One was Crate versus Corvette, which Vaz lost because he ran out of fuel, which is hilarious. He was winning. And when Vaz asked for a rematch, uh, Paul brought down his uh, emissive missile build uh, Mamba, I think it was, and fought against Vaz's bi-weave Crate. Uh, that's always going to be a win for the emissive missile build uh, against any bi-weave build, really. I mean, I'm sure it would be a fun video to do. Vaz is a cool guy to fight. If you don't want to use the footage you've already got, you could easily challenge him again. 
I would love to see the rematch between the crate and the Corvette again. Uh, that sounds like a fun video. I mean, I am sure that there's many things Mr. War would choose to change from that video and that night, to be honest, because, you know, um, it was easy for me to poke fun because he was flying with Corvinus uh, and he was calling Vaz a criminal. And let's face it, since that incident, uh, Corvinus has shown his colours again, combat logging many times as night and beef with the hand. Whereas Vaz has shown his true colours in being the honourable, nice PvPer that he's always been. Um, and many of you know, Mr. War's own squadron have confirmed this repeatedly. Even some of my harshest critics, some of the people who really don't like what I say in my videos, have reached out to me and agreed with me that you know, Vaz is a cool guy, he's a nice guy, and he's not a criminal. So I really, really don't see the issue with this. Now, I joined this war for two reasons, and I've stated them repeatedly. IED seem to be confused by this. And also, I'd like to point out, they seem to be confused on the timeline. Uh, you guys were at war with 7th before I joined, so I didn't start any beef, I didn't start any drama. I joined a war that you were already in, and I joined it for two reasons. One is I wanted IED to look at their rules of engagement, because I felt attacking unarmed ships and AX ships is kind of not good. It doesn't make you look good. Um, you know, I didn't demand you change your rules of engagement, I asked if you could look at them. I don't think that was a particularly demanding request, but IED seemed to have taken a major issue with that. And the second thing was the Vaz criminal issue. I mean, I've made other videos mocking some of their in-game behaviour, but everything I've said I've evidenced, apart from the uh, they use a bot for their KOS, which I haven't got any physical evidence for because I'm not on their Discord, I can't access their KOS. This was just something that I got from some ex-members and some current members of IED. I was asking if I could get hold of their kill on site list because uh, I just wanted to have a look at the whole kill on site list and see like how it's structured because I, I understood they used to do tiers of how bad you were and I wanted to kind of see what tier I was on and stuff like that. But the person said they couldn't get hold of the whole list because they use a bot to filter it. Um, and I was like, well, that'll do. I'll just quote that because, you know, it, that sounds fun enough. Now, personally, I feel I've provided evidence for every claim I've made about in-game behaviour, and I'm only keeping it in-game behaviour. I have no interest in personal mudslinging or personal attacks for other things. I'm happy to keep it in-game behaviour. Um, and if you want to come at me for in-game behaviour stuff, feel free. We'll discuss it. We'll talk about it. I have no issue. Um, I'm, I'm taking slight issue with some people who are making stuff up about me, but, you know, I don't think that's making me look bad, um, and I am allowed to defend myself if someone comes at me with an attack. But that's all I want to say about that. As to the 1v1, it was an awesome 1v1. I switched headlock on way too many times, uh, <laughs> just then actually, and Vaz uh, had an issue where his key bindings messed up, which is why he wasn't flying very well at the start and went stationary for a bit. I thought his controller had disconnected. Um, and, you know, I think if it wasn't for that, Vaz would have won this by a lot bigger margin. Um, I, late on, I start playing Vaz at his own game, which is a really dumb move for me, because um, I'm never going to beat Vaz's ship in my FDL in a RAM battle. It's just not going to happen. Vaz is not a guy that skips hull day. That is for certain, as we can see from that result. Uh, but it was a fun fight. I really enjoyed it. After the fight, I took my FDL to a nice place to cool down a bit um, because I did mistreat her a bit and she got a little bit too warm. Um, but she loves it. Her fight record is atrocious, but that's no nothing to do with the ship. That's purely me. Um, and I would like to say thank you very much to Vaz for the fight. That's the closest I've ever come, and I don't think it would have been that close if you'd have been moving all the whole time. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.